guys, welcome back to my channel. Couple of disclaimers. I have had this makeup on for hours and hours and hours, probably going on 12 to 13 hours, and I was also outside for an hour or two at a street fair, so if my makeup is looking a little busted, I do apologize, but I did want to film so that I could get a video up today. And also, if you hear sounds in the background, like explosions and stuff, my husband is watching Spider-Man, the animated version, and he's really excited about it, so he's watching it pretty loudly, so I apologize for that. And today, of course, we're filming my favorite kind of videos to film. It's a Will I Bite video. If you guys have not heard of Will I Bite videos, they were created by Samantha March, and I have the community playlist linked down in my description box where you can find other creators that make this type of video. So enough blabbering, I'm so excited because there's so many great makeup launches <laughs> happening or that even just happened today, especially with the indie stuff, oh my goodness. So I've already talked about this brand, but Cleona Cosmetics, which is a Canadian indie brand, they make amazing eyeshadows. I have so many of their collections. And they also did the Arkeo and the Paleo palette. They have this huge collection called the Stained Glass Collection, which is their um, duo, trichrome, multi-chrome shadows. And they just restocked. I haven't looked, but I'm sure I'm sure they're probably close to sold out, if not sold out already. But I was able to pick up the Rainbow jeweled multi-chrome set so that was six multi-chromes and they were pretty pricey you guys when they first did their original launch they had i want to say they have close to like 50 something shadows in this collection and i was definitely overwhelmed i wanted to purchase but i just didn't know for what like what to go for and so i was just like nope I'm just gonna wait and I've seen so many of my friends receive their product and I just wanted to be conservative and I just went for the jewel multi-chromes and they just look so beautiful so I'm so excited. I know Angelica is gonna have a video about them soon so I'm definitely waiting for that because then if I want more shades I will pick those up as I go. I also saw my friend Nadia got some. Um, there's so many people online that's picked up some of those shades so if you're looking for swatches and looks and like how the shadows are performing I have personally heard nothing but good things and now I'm so excited to pick up my set from them as well the other things that launched today were oh my gosh Menagerie Cosmetics is doing a pre-order on this beautiful violet palette and it's called the Violet Ink Micro Palette. It is available for pre-order and it's $19.99. And they're also launching their singles from the Whale Song Palette, which I actually bought. I have the Whale Song Palette. It's on my list of palettes I need to film with. And so now you can buy singles. So if there's a particular shade you wanted, you didn't want to buy all of them, that is available as singles. They also have a custom pro palette, which is so cute. I will throw up a picture for you guys to see. It has beautiful artwork. And then they're also having a lipstick sale where each of their liquid lipsticks are $7.50. I'm not gonna lie, I was on their website today. I had the Violet Ink palette in my cart. I had the other little palette they came out with a couple of months ago in my cart. I had a liquid lipstick in my cart. I was at like 50 something dollars and I don't know, I'm trying to do this thing where I don't buy everything, so even though I really wanted to support the brand and also try their new palette, which looks so, so stunning, I decided to hold off and wait. I'm just gonna put it on my list of things that I want eventually, but I have a few trips coming up in September and I haven't really saved up for them, so this month, I want to be more cognizant of that, especially going into August. I really need to save money, so. I think it's a beautiful palette and if you guys can get your hands on it I think it's gonna be so so fun to have and then the other launch I saw from Indie today was the Luxie launch they launched some beautiful shadows uh, these are new shades and they are called I don't know what these are they're just like really pretty like duochrome type shades and they're all new shades and they were $2.50 each or you could buy all six for $15. Again, this was something I threw in my cart. It was like $3 shipping. 
six eyeshadows, single eyeshadows from an indie brand for under 20 bucks. It was such a good deal. And I knew I was going to buy the Clinod shadows and I'd waited for so long for the restock. And yeah, it's only $20, but everything adds up. So even though I really wanted it, I had to close the browser and just walk away from it. But these shadows are also so stunning. The shade Electric Venom is like right up my alley. It's so, so beautiful. I even contemplated just getting that shade, but I really don't need any single shadows right now. I have so many eyeshadows that I still need to talk to you guys about and review for you guys. So even though I really, really wanted it, I held off. So I'm very happy about that. So those were the big indie things that were tempting me today and some I did like give in and purchase and then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about indie wise before we get on trend mood are some new things that are coming from Sydney Grace this was so unexpected you guys they do their Christmas in July sale they've done it year after year I have so many beautiful things that I've picked up from them because of the sale and so it was so kind of them they sent me their items that they're launching during the sale so they sent me this mystery bag and this has some pigments from them a highlighter which is the highlighter I have on today I'm also wearing their blush that comes in this mystery bag as well as all the eyeshadows in the mystery bag um, that all is in this palette and you can pick up this mystery bag for 25 bucks which is such a good deal and so this is the brights there's also a warm and a cool these are their new multi chromes that they're releasing they sent me all three of those and then depending on what day of the sale it is if you spend $50 you could get one of these bundles and there is a beautiful green bundle and a beautiful like rosy red bundle so I'm gonna be making a whole video talking about all of this amazing stuff that they send me they also send me some pigments so that'll probably go live tomorrow for you guys and then the sale starts on the 21st which I believe is Monday I don't even know what days are hold on the sale starts on Sunday actually and then it'll run through next Sunday the 28th so Get your pens and pencils sharpened, get your notebook ready because I'm sure there's going to be so many things you guys are going to want to take notes on and stuff like that. I'm so pumped. I saw they are also launching a setting powder so I'm considering picking that up and yeah I'm just so excited. Such a good brand. Like I said I'm wearing the From the Bright collection on my lids and I know the quality is fantastic so I feel so honored to be able to receive their PR and I just want to give them a shout out and say thank you and I know most of you guys that watch me also love Sydney Grace so look forward to that video tomorrow. So I'm on trend mood right now and the first thing I see is some new products that have launched on Sephora. They've launched a Tatcha skin set. This is a ritual for radiant skin set. $90. There's the pure one-step camellia cleansing oil, which I actually don't like. Also the rice polish classic I think is a pain in the butt because it's powder that you have to deal with. I've never tried the essence. I've never tried the violet C brightening serum. Um, I do have the dewy skin cream. Honestly, I feel like it's a little too thick for me and I do feel like it clogs my pores because the few times I've used it, I felt like I've really broken out from it, so I'm a little hesitant to recommend that. And it was really pricey, so that's kind of one of my product regrets. And then they also have the Violet C Radiance Mask, which I have, and I do like that. So that whole set for $90, I believe these are like mini sizes. But if you wanted to try Tatcha, it's a great way to try a few different products from them. And then Jouer launched a Rose Gold Blush Bouquet Dual Blush Palette, which is a mini, for $18. And I did look at this on Sephora. It's a really cute way to try the Jouer Blush books because people talk so highly of them. They're a little bit pricey, the full size, so I've never really felt the need to purchase one myself. Um, but I thought, hey, for $18 it might be interesting. But then I told myself no because I bought all of the new Zodiac blushes from Colourpop and I have this new one from Sydney Grace. I've just been like swimming in blush so I'm gonna pass on that but I think it's a really good idea. I'm also kind of shocked because it's the end of July and we're already seeing sneak peeks of holiday. 
uh, which means things are going to go downhill here pretty soon. But Artist Couture is sneak peeking their holiday. It does look like a palette. That's what Trend Mode is saying. So we'll see, I guess. I don't really, I don't know. I, I think I'm probably not going to talk about holiday teasers, but I just, I just had to mention that because I literally cannot believe it. So I was talking to you guys earlier about things that were tempting me today. And this is definitely one I was so tempted to buy as well. I definitely put this in the cart and closed the browser and you guys can judge me all you want. But I'm talking about the KKW Soul Fire collection. I just think this eyeshadow palette is so pretty. Yes, it reminds me of a million other eyeshadow palettes that I already have. Uh, but I do collect the the 10 pan KKW palette, so I just thought this would look so beautiful with my other palettes. Um, I can see them from here. I have the three um, 10 pan ones, and I just thought this would be so beautiful in my collection. But once I added it to my card, and their shipping is like $8.95, it's like a flat rate shipping, and you can't buy like free shipping so you can't buy like a lip gloss and hit $50 and get free shipping so you're gonna pay that shipping no matter what and I was like you know what I really don't need to do this right now buy this palette even though it's very beautiful I can see it just being like a go-to neutral palette for somebody that loves KKW I also really like her gloss shades that she picked out that like fire engine red gloss looks so beautiful I think the eyeliner pencils look really nice so I think this is a really fun summer collection like is it revolutionary probably not but I still so I was definitely attracted to that and then now available there is a collaboration between Catrice and Iman and um, I'm assuming this is an influencer. Um, again, it's a neutral palette, and there's a blush palette, and uh, looks like a highlighting palette. Some of this stuff reminds me definitely of like e.l.f., like the blush and the highlighter palette for sure. Um, it doesn't say how much these products are, so I don't want to comment, but overall just looks pretty basic. I think Ulta would be like a perfect place to sell something like that because not everybody, you know, that is shopping for makeup is like watching YouTube and trying to buy like the next big thing on Instagram so I can totally understand that so Colourpop did collab with Halo Top Creamery and you guys I've never had I don't think I've ever had Halo Top ice cream and everyone's like going nuts for these and I think it's such a cute collection so each bundle is $12 and then the collection is $40 I literally again this was another thing where I went to the ColourPop website because this packaging is so adorable and I added the collection to my cart and then I added one of those new like body highlighters they came out with and I was at like 60 bucks and I'm like this is crazy like first of all I don't buy Super Shock shadows anymore because I never ended up using them and so I would buy so many and then they never got used so I actually decluttered all of mine on Poshmark so why would I buy more and just for them to sit there so I did close the browser but I think this is such a cute idea for summertime so yeah really really cute and then Urban Decay launched their new Stay Naked um, foundation so it's 50 shades $39 each two correcting concealers and then 25 shades of demi matte concealer as well so there's a bunch of stuff that they came out with as well as some lip thingies as well um, so I think this is an interesting concept. I would be very interested to see if they have a shade that would work with my skin tone. Do I need a new foundation right now? Absolutely not. But I think it's nice that they came out with a new foundation. I used to love Urban Decay's foundation and I haven't really been very interested in some of the newer ones they've come out with. So it's nice to see them do something new. Hopefully 50 shades means they'll have something that'll work with my skin tone. So if I'm able to see this in store, I might check it out but for right now I'm in no hurry and then Fenty Beauty came out with a pro filter mattifying primer which mattifies skin fight shine all day and smooths the look of pores without feeling tight or dry so you can keep your makeup looking fresh without caking so I have pretty dry skin so this is definitely something that I'm not interested in but I'm sure you know if they say it's a mattifying primer just based off of how mattifying her foundation is I would imagine that this is pretty mattifying. They're also sneak peeking a what looks like a foundation to me a squeezy tube 
uh, some sort of Fenty product so I'm sure that'll be out soon too the one thing I've noticed about Fenty is they like release like one product at a time so I anticipate that if it is a new foundation hopefully it's something more light coverage or more glowy I think that will be fun for them to have an option like that in their lineup so OPV is coming out with a new palette called Tropical Dreams inspired by palm trees and exotic beaches consisting of 18 beautiful colors for 30 pounds. This will be available on July 30th. I believe OPV is also available at Riley Rose. I did see it in store at the Mall of America um, and their palettes look really pretty. I believe Angelica told me she really likes their palettes. This palette, I can't really see it too well in the picture. It definitely looks more like a blue-green palette and I'm definitely up to like here with the blue-green palettes and so I, I'm definitely like admiring this palette but it's not something I need to go rush out and buy um, but I'm sure it'll be a fun palette and I can't wait to see people create looks with it. This collection is calling to me so um, Ofra um, is coming out with a Island Time collection. This is a summertime um, collection to add some glow and color to your cheeks. So the Island Time palette is $49 and it comes with a uh, liquid to bakes blush and highlight palette in Bali, Bellini, Mai Tai Punch, and a new blush shade called Cosmo. So all the others I believe are pre-existing shades. I've definitely heard those names before. And then they're also coming out with a Cosmo blush for $29. And then Flexi Slicks five new shades lip cream shine leaves lips smooth velvety $19 so these all look really fun the Cosmo blush compact definitely looks like this new shade or this blush shade from Sydney Grace so I definitely don't need that the palette looks really fun and glowy but for $49 like I'm not willing to spend that on a face palette at all so I'm gonna be passing on all of that but I think it looks really cool so there is another Pac-Man collab, this time with Essence, and I think everyone's a little bit curious why all of a sudden there's all these affordable brands collabing with Pac-Man. Maybe it was an easy, like, buy-in, you know, um, versus, like, say, trying to come out with a Lion King collab right now would be really tough. Um, but this one does look very neutral and stuff. I did see the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection in store. Um, yesterday and I posted about it on Instagram how I like was standing there like touching everything and I was like Karen like it's too late for you to review this and you already haven't even touched the Anastasia um, Alyssa Edwards palette so why are you trying to buy another makeup collection that's just gonna sit and be too old by the time you get around to it so I walked away I took a picture and I walked away which was very satisfying for me yeah it's just so funny like I don't even I just don't know what comes over me sometimes. Okay, so BH Cosmetics is taking a lot of heat for their new palette. This is their Zodiac palette, the Leo palette, and it is very neutral. It reminds me a little bit of their Santa Fe palette. Do you guys remember that one? It has kind of a Native American out in the desert kind of theme. Um, so this one, um, I mean, yeah, I I wouldn't like rush to buy this. I probably will buy this because I have most of the palettes from that collection and I, I think I'm going to collect the whole set, but I don't think this is the worst palette BH, like technically, I feel like they have decent quality and not everyone is into crazy colorful makeup, so I think this is like a perfect palette for somebody that wants to like dip like their pinky into color because there's a blue shade, but it's not like too scary if you're like really terrified of color. You can still use all the neutrals and it's a small palette. They're not like bulky, even though there is like some of that like wasted space um, with the circle packaging and the square and whatever. Anyway. So yeah, I don't think it's that awful. So if you guys have been like wondering about the BH palettes, I have four of them and I just ordered three more. And I've personally found that they're really good quality. So that's my take on that. And Glamlight is coming out with a palette. I shouldn't want this, but I kind of do because I really genuinely like the Glamlight formula. So they're coming out with this paint palette. And basically it's a giant rainbow palette. It's got five ultra dazzling shimmers, one amazing wide gold duochrome, and 
all oversized shadows with 36 grams of product, $45, cruelty free, vegan. Each palette will come in its own luxury PR box, which includes the perfect blending brush. So they will start pre-orders on July 24th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and shipping will start 829th. So there is going to be a little bit of a gap between when you pick this up and when you receive it. But yeah, like I said, I really like Glam Light. I think this will be a good palette. I think if you haven't bought any of their food theme palettes, this might be the perfect one for you because you're getting the greens, you're getting the reds, you're getting the, you know, all a few neutrals. Like it seems like it has everything you would need. So I would be in support of anyone that wants to buy it. I personally am kind of on the fence. I don't want to buy any more eyeshadow palettes right now because I still have like a mega pile that I need to like review for you guys. But sometimes I just love having like the newest palette. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So Beauty Blender decided to branch into brushes and they came out with five brushes. Three of them are dual ended brushes and they're synthetic bristles and cruelty free. Um, these brushes are like in the, you know, $30. The powder brush is $60, which is a little bit high. Um, I personally won't buy these because I have plenty of brushes, as you can see back there. Um, but I'm sure if you're, you know, if you're dying for a brush, you, you do what you think is best, is what I would like to say to you. Um, so Kylie Cosmetics, um, Kylie Skin Concealers, all 30 shades, and setting powders will be coming to Ulta Beauty Stores July 28th. So mark your calendars. I think, you know, people get excited about complexion products, and especially from Kylie. She sells... A lot of makeup and so I'm sure there's people out there that are really excited for it so Colourpop is doing a body brand they're calling it a sister brand called soul body and you can basically buy everything on the Colourpop website you just switch between tabs which is nice because then you can combine shipping and they're doing a dry body oil and these are $15 for different shades I saw so many influencers posting about this body oil and it does look really pretty and for $15 I don't feel like it's like an arm and a leg you know whereas like Rihanna's um, Patrick Ta came out with one who else has like glow oils and they're all like in the 40 to 50 to 60 dollar range which I think is ridiculous so passing on all of those ones but this one I would consider adding into a Colourpop order if I was already placing an order so Joseph Colors launched a new complexion line and they came out with a foundation, 42 shades, 6 shade category, 7 shades per category for $36. I saw all the influencers like went to their launch party and stuff like that and I think this is cool because there's a lot of people that like Joseph Colors. There's a lot of people that have never had a bad experience with Joseph Colors. I'm personally like in between because I didn't really love their original collab with Desi and Katie. Um, so they're kind of hit or miss for me. I know they are available at Ulta's, which is nice for them because now at least you can maybe try out the product. I don't believe my Ulta store carries Dose of Colors, uh, but if you're able to see it in person and feel the foundation, I think that will be cool. But for me, I'm just going to pass because I, again, have so many foundations, so I'm good to go. So here's a product I definitely, definitely want, but I think I might have to wait to buy it because, again... I'm definitely like low on funds here close to the end of the month but these are the new M Cosmetics serum blushes it's an innovative lightweight luxurious serum formula providing a sheer buildable color and an enduring youthful dewy glow with each drop $25 and they have four shades launches July 22nd um, I also really want their like cloud lip paints or something I heard Hannah Louise posted like raving about them so I am so excited to try that formula so what I'm thinking I might do is pick up one of these or two of these blushes and maybe like a cloud paint or something in the future I definitely see myself trying M Cosmetics I don't know if I'll buy it right away the day it launches but I might I might buy something from them soon compared to some of the other brands I've already purchased from I would like to try M Cosmetics and see what they're about because I've heard nothing but good things Tarte did a collaboration with Whitney Simmons. I'm not going to lie, I don't really know who that is. Um, it's a very, you know, warm tone neutral eyeshadow palette. It's full size, limited edition, and it's $35 and it comes with a mascara. This will be available July 21st online at Ulta Beauty, so tomorrow that will be available. 
I, um, I'm not gonna lie, I've definitely bought some Tarte palettes. I did see the Aspen Ovar, the Lemon palette was on sale, I think today at Ulta, so I don't know if you guys wanted that palette, it might still be on sale, so definitely, definitely check it out. So, Morphe launched their 35 inch Hot Spot Artistry eyeshadow palette. This is 35 shades of matte and shimmers for $24. Again, it's like a muted uh, rainbow palette. And I thought they launched this originally at Ulta. I didn't realize it was going to come to Morphe's website as well. And I, I don't really buy anything from Morphe unless it's something I really, really want. But yeah, it's, 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 it seems like it's a nice palette. I mean, I don't, you know, if you want it, just like get it, girl. Get it. Here's something I actually do want. This is the Sigma New Blending Brushes, and it's a $60 uh, bundle of brushes, and I've heard nothing but good things about Sigma. And honestly, some of my Morphe brushes I've had for a while, they definitely are like falling apart, so it would be nice to have some nicer quality brushes. That's something I definitely want to invest in. Um, as far as like my makeup collection because I have a lot of makeup, but when it comes to my brushes I definitely feel like I could invest a little more money into that. So um, I have my eye on that set, but again, I just can't really afford to buy um, a $60 brush set right now with all the other makeup I'm buying. So it's definitely on the list of things I want, but I won't be buying it right away because I'm saving money for this. So this is the Skin Fetish Foundation in 36 shades, $68. Um, this is the Pat McGrath Foundation. I've already talked about this a bunch of times, and it's going to be launching next week, so I'm very, very excited. I'm going to see if I can pick it up on Sephora, again, because I'm worried about the shade match. And that way, if I pick up the wrong shade, I can return it without too much trouble. I think I'm going to be in, like, the M21 range. M21 actually looks like it might be my color, so... Fingers crossed, and I kind of want to buy, like, the whole system because, I mean, come on, like, Pat McGrath, like, I feel like she's not going to do much wrong when it comes to a foundation, so I'm very, very excited for that. Here's another gorgeous palette that I low-key want. This is Stacey Marie MUA and Be Perfect Cosmetics Collaboration Round 2. So she came out with the uh, Carnival palette, and now she has the Carnival XL Pro, which is basically a bigger palette with more shades and some shades from the original palette as well. The sucker has 30 vibrant mattes, 10 highly pigmented metallics, and 3 blinding highlighters for 42 pounds. This palette, I've heard nothing but good things about the original, so I'm really, really tempted to pick up the second one because I don't have the first one, but again, I just... I just don't need it at this time. It's a huge, colorful eyeshadow palette. I haven't even touched my James Charles Morphe palette. I think I've used that one time. So clearly, even though I like colorful eyeshadows, I'm not really into the big rainbow palettes. So even though people rave about it, doesn't mean I need to buy it. And I bought the Jeffree Star palette and I've only used it twice so far. So clearly I don't need more colorful palettes, so I'm gonna pass on it for now. This I actually do want. This is the Tatcha eye cream called the Silk Peony, an antioxidant pack double shield of strengthening and hydration that melts into skin for smooth as silk, youthful, radiant eyes. I love anything that's going to hydrate my under eyes. And of course it's Tatcha, so it's going to be kind of pricey. It's $60 and it'll be available online August 1st at Tatcha and Sephora. So I'm super duper excited to try a new eye cream because I always am looking for new eye cream. So very, very excited for that. Okay, let's talk about House Laboratories really quick. Um, I've seen people, you know, kind of express how disappointed they are because I think when I think of Lady Gaga, I think of like kind of a rebel personality. And I definitely thought like House Laboratories was gonna be her own thing, but then she did a pre-order and launched it exclusively on Amazon during like Prime Day. And I think a lot of us were thrown off by that. I'm not even a Lady Gaga fan, but even I was thrown off by that because I feel like, you know, she would be the one to stick it to the man. And don't get me wrong, I love Amazon. And I'm definitely one of those people that's contributing to the problem. But I also feel like, I don't know, it just doesn't, it, you know how it's like, 
the wrong brand and the wrong like collaboration I feel like this was definitely the wrong path for her and then the fact that you won't get your goods till September and also the fact that this just makeup this makeup just looks boring like I mean it's like a liquid lip or like a gloss and a pencil and like an eyeshadow shade like nothing about this is appealing to me and I don't know how much she priced these at lip liners 26 glosses 32 $36 for the Glam Attacks and then the kits were $49. Like, I wouldn't pay that much money for those products. So if you did, like, you must be a big fan, like, bless your soul. Um, but yeah, I was pretty, I was pretty turned off by that. And I wasn't gonna buy any of it anyway, but like, I was just like, oh, ooh, cringe. Okay, so Too Faced relaunched their Gingerbread Spice eyeshadow palette and they're calling it like, you know, Christmas in July, which that's great and all. A lot of people are jokingly saying that they found like some extra palettes in the um, back of like some warehouse, which, you know, it's possible, but I honestly do think a lot of people really like this palette. And if people want to buy a fucking gingerbread palette in the middle of July, like more power to them. Who am I to judge? I bought some ridiculous things, so good for them. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, here's something I'm really excited for because it's about fucking time. Charlotte Tilbury came out with four, or is coming out with a new foundation called the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It's supposed to be long wear, weightless, full coverage, poreless, natural, and matte finish. So I'm so, so excited. She's coming out with 44 shades. I don't think I've seen her come out with anything that has that many shades. So I am very, very excited, and it looks like it'll launch sometime in August or September. So I will wait uh, for Miss Charlotte Tilbury's foundation because I'm really hopeful that this is going to be a really good one. So very, very excited for that. Okay, so this was kind of funny. Makeup Revolution came out with some new fruit and like food themed palettes. They came out with an avocado, a pizza, and a chili, as well as three fruity compacts for $7 each. And the eyeshadow palettes were $15 each. So um, a very interesting. I think this is a really cute idea. The avocado palette definitely looks really cute. I did see my friend Amy Loves Makeup just got that in the mail. And so I'd definitely be paying attention to her review. I personally don't love Makeup Revolution's formula, so I'm definitely skeptical on the whole situation. But if anyone gives us an honest review, it's going to be Amy. So I'm very, very excited to see what she thinks of it. And then Charlotte Tilbury is doing some holiday sneak peeks. I'm like low-key really excited for this stuff. She's coming out with like a new eyeshadow palette, some new face palettes. She's got some good stuff. Like these sneak peeks are legit. I think she had like a big press event in um, England. So I'm really, really pumped for her holiday stuff. And I really need to just start saving for the holidays already because you know there's gonna be like all these crazy deals and I'm gonna be broke as a joke if I don't save up for some of this stuff. Oh yeah, and she's coming out with these uh, Magic Vanish color correctors. Oh my god, that shade number three tan, like that's definitely calling to me because I love having bright under eyes. So I definitely don't like, I don't suffer from dark circles, but I definitely do have dark circles. So I'm so, so pumped about that. And then ColourPop did launch a new lippy formula. It's called Just a Tint Lip Crayon. I did pick up, I think I picked up a bundle as well as a single, like a really coral bright shade, um, just because it looked like a fun color for the summertime. And I really wanted those other um, blushes from the Zodiac collection that they launched with Kathleen Light. So I did place a ColourPop order and that should be here shortly. So I'll definitely show that to you guys as well but those lip tints look very fun okay so Tarte launched some new eyeshadow palettes these are called the foil finger paint trios for $25 each I remember when they originally launched this foil paint like formula it's like a very foily eyeshadow formula and it was in that like corally crustacean looking palette packaging that was really really cute these are I think a smart idea for Tarte I mean I'm not planning on picking these up but they are fun shades like I think everyday shades for somebody that's like in high school or college so I think it's really smart that they put something together like that 
Okay guys, that is everything for today's Will I Buy It video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one soon.